Well, first off, first off, because we are getting close to that time, I'm going to go through my items. Probably not go this way yet. We should probably get into a fight. So why don't we? Why don't we do that? There should be a fight out here. No problem. should give me the number I need, I think. What's left to do is wait. Get up there. So I'll do that here and uh, yeah, got it. Five 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 five. All right, and we'll overwrite. And the drill. All right, so we load in our five 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 and. That should get us uh, soup. It's a very tasty soup. Let's see here. Yeah, so there we go. Now we've got soup. Mm. Okay. 
So now we can do what we were going to do. Was when we came in that door, go up here. Because the upstairs door is locked. The next save item isn't for a very long time, so I don't really have to worry too much about that. Somewhere? Hmm. Well, what took you so long? Roger, the mummy I have was in the coffin? Since when have you two been acquainted? I am no mummy! My name is Roger Bacon, and I'm just like any normal old man. Hey, I've been around for 20 years, and I have yet to run across an old man as abnormal as yourself. I see. Well, I've been around for 600 years, and I've seen plenty of abnormal people just like myself. My dear old man, might you be related to the great warlock Roger Bacon, who made such a name for himself in the 13th century? <laughs> you are very knowledgeable. Hmm, I am that warlock, Roger Bacon, you speak of. You mean to tell me that you were born in 1210 and have remained alive and well until the present date of 1898? Actually, to be precise, I was born in 1214. Hudelka, what type of a joke is this? That's my question. Well, this is no joke! I am the reputable Roger Bacon! Very well, then. If you were truly that Roger Bacon, then you'll be able to tell me with whom and where you studied. Oh, that's easy. I entered Oxford in 1247 and studied under the tutelage of Robert Grosteste. Although a good professor, I would not consider him to be a wise man. I penned my masterpiece, Opus Maius, as well as numerous other books on natural science. Being a visionary pioneer? Hmm. I must say that my work has influenced generations of work that followed. But alas, in hindsight, that work pales in comparison to the work I did, copying the immigre document for the Pope. The immigre documents? I figured you would know about that book. Of course. It took me five years to copy the book in its entirety. I know everything there is to know about the book. What is it about? Oh, is it, it unravels the secrets of life that expand far beyond the largest field. It speaks of the secret rituals conducted by the ancient race of Fomors on immortality. The Fomors would claim the lives of the resurrected as their own. They reversed the laws of nature and the cycle of life. When the Druids took over the Celts, Alexander the Great penned the emigre documents in Greek for placement in the Great Library. Resurrecting the dead. Oh, it, it is true. The document has long been considered the most dangerous work of literature. It was safely guarded in the caverns of the Supreme Pontiff's quarters. But apparently, the book was not able to withstand the wares of time over generations. And the Pope decreed that a new edition be created by copying the full text. That is where I came in. The Pope requested that I copy the book word for word. And when the work was finished, apparently I was supposed to be killed. <laughs> But I am not one to be dealt with so carelessly. I secretly escaped, and eventually I made my way to the sacred land referred to in the text of the immigre document. And the secret rituals? Uh, don't tell me. You need look no further than myself. And you succeeded. Hmm. Although I cannot perform the same on others, yes, I have been able to escape the hands of death.
But I have not been able to escape the roots of existence, which are the seeds of change. My body is not immune to change, as you can see by my hideous appearance. I've had nothing to do other than roam the earth for the last 300 years. I've seen all I can take of mankind's cruelty. So, I returned here for some rest. Well, enough of this gossip. I've got some research to do. May I ask to be left alone? All right, so I don't believe there's anything in here really. So, yeah, let's just uh, leave. I'll leave through the door because we can unlock it. Uh, that side is locked for now. He can use the uh, megalith. There we go. What sword is that? <clears throat> I'd have been wanting to put a sword on him, but ah, it's the vital beast. Eh. Yeah. But we'll open it. here. Alright, and this is another long ass one.
Yep. You know, there's a picture over here we don't really see yet. And over there is the save. With the monster! Alright, come on. It's slapping time. Alright there, foothead. Let's see here. It's close enough. I wonder. That might actually be pretty good. You don't say. That's quite enough of that. Jackass master. All right. What do you think of that? Jackass. Well, then we can use this. Save over this one. So this is Elaine? Yes. She's the one I had the psychic vision of. Do you doubt it? No, indeed. Good. Let's begin.
It has been a long time indeed, Mr. O'Flaherty. Oh, Elaine, is that really you? Yes, it is. It is such a pity that we meet again, and I can only present myself to you in this form. This is the woman that responded to my voice, is it not? Thank you for doing this for someone like myself. Elaine, I haven't yet come to terms. Please tell me how this happened to you. Of course I will explain. James, 18 years ago, I was murdered by some thieves that broke into my home. I was helpless. Both Patrick and Ogden were out on business. There was nothing that anyone could do. I will not accept this. This should not have happened. Yes. Patrick responded the same exact way. He could not accept my death. He spent years and years perfecting his craft and wizardry and tried everything in his power to bring me back to life. Resurrecting the dead? Is this for real? Hey, we're not talking about Frankenstein here. Frankenstein? That novel written about a hundred years ago? He was taking it very seriously. And he had found the key to actually make it happen. The immigrant document? Yes. With Ogden's assistance and the powers from ancient druids, he held a resurrection ceremony in this monastery. But... But something went wrong, didn't it? He only resurrected my physical body. As you can see, my soul is still doomed to roaming the universe, forever separated from my body. And the terrifying thing is that my body was resurrected as a heartless monster. Monster? Although the monster may look like me, it is not me. Mr. O'Flaherty, Please, turn my body into ashes with your power. Ashes? But if I do that, we won't be able to bring you back to life. Mr. O'Flaherty, I was robbed of my life by those thieves, and I could hate them as mortal enemies. Choose to think that my death was preordained by the Lord. Please, do not mourn my death. It was wrong for Patrick to try to resurrect me. To undo the work of God. Please do not be sad. Death is at the heart of God's reasoning. I urge you to destroy my body. Its existence defies the wise providence of heaven. It mustn't exist in this world. Wait, Elaine! God, God! What a cruel world! I gave everything for your happiness, and now what am I left with? I have no meaning in my life. So, now with that done, this.
Okay. Yes, that is for the asset. That is way back there. That's our weight. 45. for a puzzle, kind of puzzle. carry anymore? That sucks. Oh well, don't eat them. And we'll have another fight! I didn't know she'd do it in one shot. Well, all right then. Bye-bye. <laughs> What's that other sword? Yeah. I like everything but the agility. But I got I gotta wear it. I have no choice. So our weight was 45, the mem memo said 70, right? So what we do is we just make it 70, so... And voila! Door is open! Be like that, do ya? All right, let's see here. Items, tools. And high potion. Eh. 
I have like one listel. We use the high portion. I think that's it. Yep. All right. And we'll go check the door. Back. fight. Alright. How about some of that? And some of that. So I have to throw away an item. Let's come to this. Wait, you know what? Throw out all of that. Now we got a bottle of acid. Who doesn't need a bottle of acid? I know it's here. I, I saw it here. I put it here. Uh, 
What? Have you come round to see me again? I want you to look at this. <laughs> Research journal. I want you to tell us whether what's written there can actually happen or not. Well, let me see. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Ooh. A cauldron. The Bradwin tales, indeed. Yes. It is most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Just as I thought. But that's so frightening that it's... Personally, I have not attempted it. I am certain that the immigre document contained accounts of secret rituals conducted to resurrect the dead. But as you can tell from reading this, it involves complicated preparatory work. <laughs> I had given up discerning the impossibility of using the psychic powers necessary to create such an immense psychic platform. And moreover, I never expected that people would attempt to challenge such a feat. The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held the secret to life in the palm of their hands. <laughs> But they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. They resurrected the dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce, thus building the great civilization we oft times speak of. In fact, we would not be far off if we called them uh, puppeteers. <laughs> Exploiting the human body as an object. If so, then we Yes, resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is in Possible. Then how do you return the resurrected body once again to Earth? That is a very complicated question, since it already defies universal logic. Please. It is no easy task. Tell me how. It's Woody Lane, God rest her soul, wanted. Right. It is not absolutely impossible. But I would need to call forth the sacred powers in order to complete such a feat. Hmm. Oh, yes. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, the man who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. If... if we... Throw that into a cauldron. We will successfully destroy the roots of the tree of life. Oh, after that, I haven't a clue whether to call forth the energies of fire or entrust the task to water. Oh, it is so complicated. Fire. No. Or water. What are we going to do? Oh, Heavenly Father, bless our souls and bring forth an end to this suffering. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. All right. That's really all we needed to do.